welcome back well in previous video we were able to create the uh, image and push it to the acr azure container registry and here is the demo acr let me take you through just to refresh the memory and if i go to repository right here you'll see we have this repository that's what we created and tag it as v1 so we got our uh, acr created image uh, uploaded now in this video we are going to create the aks cluster from scratch and attaching the same uh, demo acr uh, registry with our AKS cluster and then we'll deploy the application and this time our cluster will uh, download the images from ACR rather doing it from the docker hub in the very first video that we have seen so in this one I'm creating the cluster from scratch but don't worry we will also try to attach the ACR in the existing cluster so let's do this this one with the help of portal because you would not find uh, this portal way uh, i think on the ms docs but you'll find the cli way and we'll we'll attach the acr with the existing cluster with the help of cli so let's get started get back to uh, kubernetes services i do not have any let me click on add i'm going to add one cluster uh we have already gone through all the options and features so i'll do it quickly uh we'll save some time let me choose the rg this and let me give it a name as demo cube 01 uh we only need a single node this is just for this demo purpose and i'm gonna remove it as soon as it is done we don't need to uh, interfere with anything right now just go to the inter uh, integrations here we have container registry what we need to do we need to integrate ours which is demo acr231 right rest keep the rest thing as default for this one i'm keeping a default but you can uh, do the changes as per your need if you've been following my videos uh yeah we have already covered each and every aspect of kubernetes cluster all those options in the very first videos and in a couple of other videos but in this particular uh, lab we are only focusing on attaching the acr where we have the images that we have uploaded in the previous video uh using those images to deploy the application in our aks cluster so uh, while it's, it's creating, let me also show you how we can open the shell uh, by typing shell.azure.com. It will open the shell for us uh, in a bigger window where we can easily go ahead and uh, run our YAML file or get the credentials, uh, AZ AKS credentials, only then it will allow us to uh, talk to the Kubernetes API and we can deploy the uh, YAML file and run it. Cool. So while it is creating, uh, let me get back and put this on pause. All right, so we waited for a couple of minutes. Uh, I just went to have a cup of coffee. And now if I see here, it has deployed, we can click on go to resource. And here we have our Kubernetes services, right? Uh, here we have all the resources like namespace, workload, storage configuration. Here we have the node pools and all kind of stuff. But right now, this is not we are doing lab for. What we are doing lab for is uh, running the application on Kubernetes and Kubernetes will talk to ACR, uh, the private registry that we have to download the images. So what we need to do before we do that, we need to connect with the AKS cluster. And uh, to do that, we need to first get the uh, credentials, right? And it's very simple, AZ AKS get credentials get credentials there we go i was waiting for the intellisense sometimes it doesn't work i don't know sometimes it works very well 
So what I remember it was my RG1, but I can also confirm it, my RG1. Now we also need to give the name of AKS cluster. It was demo uh, cube zero one. There we go. Oh, even that picked by the intelligence. Wonderful. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it does not. For me, uh, how it works for you, you can uh, mention in the comment section. Uh, all right. So. If I hit enter, it will get the credentials. Now this shell I'm using from uh, uh, for lots of uh, Kubernetes labs. So that's why it says merged. So under .cube config, we have the uh, search and alls, which will help us to authenticate. And if I do cube CTL, got nodes, you'll find we have a single node running here. Now, what we need to do, we need to uh, run the application and before we run the application uh, just need to see uh, whether we have those uh, AKS demo what we have in the AKS demo uh, AKS demo LS we have uh, Azure both YAML file but let's let's do this from the scratch rather than getting into it let me get back and create uh one more directory let me call it acr so that we would remember uh where are we right now in the acr for the acr demo right let me clear this out and now we are going to clone it uh that we that i showed you in the very first uh, uh video like previous one where we were working on the linux machine so this will clone the uh, from the Azure samples all those uh, files that we will require. We only need if I'll do ls, this will be familiar for you all. So we need to get into this uh, directory, and here we have the compose file that we used in the uh, previous video to create uh, the multi-container uh, app. And uh, right now we are going to use this YAML file. Okay. So we need to run this YAML file. And before I do that, let me show you what we have in this YAML file, right? Uh, if I do cat Azure vote, all the yaml you'll see this is the this is almost exactly the same yaml file that we did in the very first video of the lab the voting application but here we also need to uh, update the container images right because right now we we need to update uh, these you know images as you see uh, it is going to the Azure Docs and we want it to go to the ACR right so let me quickly go ahead and do this so for that uh, we need to get into the editor you can you can also use uh, editor from here but I like Wim uh, so let me open this Azure all YAML. There we go. Now here uh, we need to change the uh, somebody is calling me. Let me take this. All right. I'm um, sorry, guys. Uh, my wife was calling me. Uh, anyways. Uh, I'm here now this image we need to mention the our ACR uh, login the entire if you remember it was demo ACR dot Azure CR dot IO that thing so what I'll do I'll remove this part uh, I'll remove, quickly remove this part and we had demo acr 
231.azurecr.io. This is the registry, this is the repository name, and this is the uh, image, right? This is what uh, we have. Okay, so let me quickly save this and get out of this file. Now we have this file updated with our ACR uh, information. Now let me quickly go ahead and uh, run the kubectl apply hyphen f. Uh, and this is Azure boat all, that's the file. If I hit enter, it will run it and it will create the back and the front, right? Now we can simply go ahead and do the same thing that we did before, get service. It will show us all the services which are created. For the front, uh, we got the uh, public IP addresses and back, this is private IP addresses because this is cluster IP and this is load balancer, right? Now, if I use this public IP to browse, it should browse if I'm not doing any mistake. So let's wait a oh, while it is uh, running. What we can do, we can simply uh, wait <laughs> or it didn't work, it didn't work. Yeah, there we go, it worked. Cat and dog, both are nice. So that's how we can, we can uh, use ACR uh, images in the ACR uh, for our Kubernetes cluster. So for now, this is this is all I wanted to show in this lab. And thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. If you have any questions, you can uh, write your question in the comment section. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.